Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. It is 10 a.m. I'm up bright and early, unfortunately. I tried to go back to sleep, but I could not, so I was like, well, you know. I got nothing better to do, and I have a Wild Frost to record today, so I might as well go do it, and who knows, maybe I'll be able to sleep after this. Probably not. It's fine. I'll be okay. I'm just, I'm very much someone who, uh, my bells, they're reset. Uh, wait, 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 sorry, 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 hold on, hold on. Where is it? Yeah, this one, we don't want cursed charms. I have to take something else off. Some enemies we upgraded with charms. Uh, we could do, like, no gunk fruit, that's fine. Uh, I want to do no cursed crowns as well, let's do this one. That's fine. I don't remember what I had before, but... You know, ooh, new guys. When the redraw bell is hit, gain one teeth. Trigger one hit. This looks awful. That looks so bad. A teeth leader? Ugh. Let's do it. Let's run it. Come on, Zote. Let's get it. I do like it when you guys post the Zote precept 23 in the comments when I pick him, by the way. That one makes me smile. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm not... I'm not in a, like, a bad position or anything like that. I'm not doing poorly in life, but I just, if I wake up early, I never fall back asleep. It's just kind of how it goes, you know? So, I'm good, I'm fine, don't worry about it. But also, man, it's early. For me, anyway. 10 a.m. is probably not that early for you, but... Ah, okay. Uh, this is another one where the, the things just got mixed in my head. When redraw bell is hit, gain one teeth, trigger when hit. In my mind, this would be just... Uh, and I think it personally just kind of flows more naturally if this says gain one teeth, trigger when redraw bell is hit, or when hit. But maybe that's just me. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. It, make, it makes no difference in the grand scheme of things, actually. But... Uh, you know, maybe you can see my, my, uh, not necessarily confusion, but my, where I misunderstood. So it's not going to be an attack. I think split triggers like that are just something that don't exist in this game. So, uh, I am having trouble naturally picking them up because you don't have many. Are there any units in the base game that have multiple triggers like this? Trigger when the redraw is hit. Uh, what? Naturally. No, I'm not talking like, oh, well, what about if you have a smackback on Knuckles? Yeah, sure, buddy. They're like the same area though, right? It's, they're both doing the same idea. I mean, the silence on Zote was pretty baller here. Aren't you missing a guy? No, you're not. You're not missing a guy. You're right. That's my mistake. There should not be a guy here. Very distinctly, no need for a guy. So I kill this goblin, this bee berry slides up, hits me, uh, and then I hit into this thing. It doesn't make a huge difference. You can not kill that guy if you want. Maybe it makes a meaningful change, I doubt, though. Now we gotta kill Bogberry. He actually dies pretty easily. I'm trying to think about it, but I don't think there is anything that has the split triggers like this. But, uh, you know hard for me to say because I just, I already am biased. I think it doesn't exist. So I actually have no idea. These channel nails? Pardon me, these channel nails get real big at the start of the run. Let's go see some units, see if we get anything exciting today. What's in the box, or the ice, I suppose? Drya. By two wound, apply zero frost, increase by one when hit. Oh, cool. Uh, hey, it's Blank Mask as a character. Can we do this? I'd love to play a little wound idea. This unit looks like... I mean, look at the, the design, all white. This is definitely one of the... Not like pale. Maybe they're called the pale characters. Uh, look, looks like the Hollow Knight. By the way, I will reveal, I do know that the little knight guy is not Jonathan Hollow Knight. He's not the Hollow Knight. He's just some dude. Not a dude, I know, look, I remember that part. Holy shit, what? 
all other units have greed on turn and gain ten dollars. That has to be the most insane thing you've ever showed me in this game. That am I misreading this? That is so crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. All right, I'm ready. This, I just want to make sure I make this clear. This unit could just say... And, like, I, I guess it's all other units as the drawback, so the enemies have it, too. I don't think I care that much about that. On turn end, gain $10 is such an insane effect. I don't know what you could put on this card to make me not click it with on turn end, gain $10. It's so crazy. Because here's the thing. I'm going to walk in to probably fight, it could be fight four or five, Bolgo or uh, Maja or what's the last one? Give me a sec, I'll think of their name. Bolgo, Maja, Muttonhead. One of those guys, a snow, non-snow resistant boss, I can just sit there and farm forever with that thing. This is going to be, I love money. This is going to be great. Let's get our guys out. Kind of wiggly there, huh? You good? I'm gonna freeze up Dr. Bear. And we're gonna go ahead and do a little redrawing. Because I got a grub father to go find. Uh, so you're gonna do five, which is fine. Let me get my grub father out. $10. Okay, so that frosting is gonna kick the shit out of me. Did I put the injury bell on? Yes. Okay. Here's the here's the deal. Here's the situation. This is super broken. I can extremely easily just kill myself here. Because I'm not ahead. So we gotta play accordingly. You're gonna do five, and then the Uba Bear's also gonna do six to Zote, which both of those are fine with me. The demonize is whatever. The snow gobbler is now set to die. This is three damage. We will return fire a two. Um, 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 um. I think I, I think I have to pull the grub father. I think I'm too far behind at this point. I need to not keep this greed up until I'm ahead. We we will learn as we go. For sure. I will figure it out. But I need to take that greed off. And I'm gonna let you get hit and I'm gonna Isma's tear Zote cleanse his uh, demon eyes off of him so he can take the Uba Bear hit. And then we can do like a little maybe a little I'm thinking a little tram pass Zote idea here seems kind of good. Because then I can Kill Uba Bear number one with Old Nail. I'm gonna redraw Bell. I have two good hits on the redraw Bell. Yeah, we hit them. Nice. Okay. That's good. Grubfather, I would love to replay him, but I think in this fight it's a little bit much. This is gonna scale more than it is good right now. I don't have a chump. And he'll die if I put him in front of Uba Bear. Maybe I want him to die. I think I need to kill Uba Bear. With the channel nail. Shame I didn't win the 50 50, but that's okay. And then I'm thinking, I would like to old nail Snow Gobbler. I'm thinking this is the play as a result. And then we'll get a Void Mask, which will silence something which I don't really care about. Or it's on five and just puts the Porcupine away unless she gets silenced. Ah, oh, that minus, uh, minus one on my Dryad here is a shame. Okay. Bumbo is tough, but fair. He's not too bad. I'm gonna go for... 3 plus 3 on Uba. I'd love to play this Void Mask, but I just don't have the time. So we're going to go 3 plus 3 on Uba. Like so. 
wrong wrong one. I want the old nail. I could channel nail. Is it better to channel nail? It probably is better to channel nail. Frost stinger's dead. Now we begin the process. Now is where we start to get value. Just note that in this position, even in the worst case for this unit, he's, which is what this pretty much is, it's one of the worst outcomes for Grub Father. He's still going to have made me how much money in this fight? And I'm not going to die to Snow Gobbler here. Don't be silly. I would never let Snow Gobbler catch me out. Just think about how much money I'm actually going to end up leaving this fight with. You can go count it up if you want. Uh, I'm at least up 30. Because this is what happens now. I get myself alone with... Oh, greed. Just trying to figure out what just happened. I get myself alone with just the boss and nothing else important to do. And it's like, well... I'm not in a rush to kill Bumbo. Are you in a rush to kill Bumbo? I'm kind of just chilling, if you ask me. Would be good to play Zoat here, but I just need to... Like, I can sit here forever, actually. I'm pretty sure. The only problem is that the Void Mask will silence my unit. And I don't think I can break out of that silencing problem, but this is a free turn, so I may as well take a free turn. And you know what? I'm down to just prove a point and make a little extra money. Because now, if I draw in the Shade Soul, I actually get a little ahead. And, uh, you know what, I should have redrawn first before I recalled the unit. Shade Soul did do 7. That's okay, though. I'm rich. And then I get another Void Mask. Oh, Void Mask is going to kill Bumbo, though. Okay, I need to freeze it so that it doesn't kill my guy right away. The problem, yeah, the problem is that Shade Souls are too fast. They go before Bumbo. But that's okay. I'll be alright. Uh, we can... It's like Void Mask. I know I have Pale Ore, right? Yeah, so it's Void Mask, Redraw, Pale Ore is the play on the Shade Soul, so it doesn't kill. Yeah, so I think that I am actually just in an equilibrium here. I don't think he can break out. There might be a draw order where he breaks out of this equilibrium, but I think I can put Shade Souls down faster than he can kill them. And Hornet's never going to swing into him. So, yeah. Seems fine to me. I'm in no rush. It feels like I'm in a pretty stable loop here of... Play Shade Soul, redraw, play Pale Ore, redraw, play Shade Soul, redraw, pay, play Pale Ore, redraw. Eventually I'll break out of this equilibrium. Because eventually uh, I will not be able to play Shade Soul. Like, eventually this card will be... No, eventually this card will be Shade Soul, or it'll be Pale Ore, but I don't even think that breaks me out, come to think of it. Yeah. So my I, I, when I walked into this fight, at first I thought this was going to be super broken, and then I went, wait, maybe I'm wrong, maybe this isn't that good. I would like to re, I, I would like to apologize to myself of the past. I was wrong about me being wrong. This is in fact extremely broken. My mistake. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think, like, conceptually, there's nothing you can or should do to change this card for what it's worth. This is cool. I'm down. Base Wild Frost is very good about not letting you ruin the game for yourself. And this is a concept that I think is important to have a grasp on in most roguelikes. Because as you understand it, you'll realize that developers are doing a good... Or doing their best to help you. Because this is what would be considered ruining the game for yourself. Uh, and what that means is this is not something... If, if I had to do this every time I was playing a 22 Bells run to make sure to give myself the highest chance of winning, I would eventually just stop having fun playing 22 Bells because this is not something I want to do a lot of times. But 
And, and so developers try to stop you in these games from doing broken, crazy combos like this and just ruining the game for yourself because eventually you'll stop having fun, you'll stop playing the game. In a mod, I don't care. I'm happy to, I'm really happy to do broken stuff because I'm not here thinking about my hollow frost win rate. I don't give a fuck. We're just here to do stupid shit. And this is what they would say in the business is stupid. So I'm gonna stop somewhere. You can skip ahead a little bit. I'm probably gonna stop around a thousand dollars and that'll just carry me through for the rest of the run. Uh -huh. I can't, I, I guess I could also, there's like a human error aspect that could end my life here. Definitely, but yeah. Uh, I have two thoughts for what what you could do if you wanted to keep this, but make it a little more... Uh, actually, I have exactly one thought. Sorry, I thought I had two thoughts. I have one thought. You know what you do to this guy? If you want to make him a little more of a uh, robust unit, something that doesn't let you do this, he should just have a hog-headed. Or like, you know what he should have? He should have apply hog-headed to all of your units. That way, you can't recall. Because if I couldn't recall, this fight would have ended a long time ago. Right? So he should just lock you out of recalling, and he himself should have hog-headed. That way you can't pull him out if you're going to die to greed. And you can't pull uh, your other units out and then lock a boss in with Void Mask. That's my thought. But also, I'm perfectly down to do this. I always, I'm, I do enjoy the broken shit. You know, talk, talk all you want about the Monster Train Infinite that I did that took me an hour. Uh, if you haven't heard the news, I've actually tried to go find it. I can't find it. I don't know what it was, but if you've watched all Monster Train, maybe you know what episode it was. There's a run of Monster Train. So here, quick, I'll give you a little story time while we're sitting here. Back in Monster Train, there was a card called Subsuming Blade. Monster Train was not afraid to give you permanent scaling effects outside that lasted through combats, which was... Uh, it led to some degeneracy, for sure. Uh, it leads you to some bad ideas, and it's kind of, this is a design philosophy thing of, do because min-maxing within fights doesn't matter unless it has effects on the on the broader scheme of things, right? So that's kind of up to you if you think it is good or bad. I think that it is fun. I like external effects like Evolve in Pokefrost, for example. Uh, but Monster Train had this effect, which was, this card was called Subsuming Blade. It was two energy in a game where you got three energy per turn, but it could scale. Not a big deal. The energy cost doesn't matter a lot. Subsuming Blade said, on kill, gain plus three damage permanently. Now, for the reference, if you haven't played Monster Train, the final boss of Monster Train has 5,000 health. Monster Train is a game of exponential scaling. Enemies in the back line of the, the enemy board have like 1 to 10 HP. Enemies in the front have 190 or 270 HP in the end game. And then the bosses have 4,000 and 5,000 health. The final bosses. Uh, Subsuming Blade starts at three. Or maybe five. I think it's five, actually. And there's a... So here's, here's the setup now. Because I have a run that's going very poorly. But I have this card called Votaberry. And Votaberry says, on death, draw one. And it's a one HP unit. You see where this is going? Uh, the, game, the turns don't end in Monster Train when you play a card. And so I have a Subsuming Blade, which I have made cost zero, which is something very easy to do in that game. So I can play it for free. I have Votaberry, who also costs zero and draws me a card on death. This is not inherently an infinite, but I have a relic, I'm pretty sure, that says uh, on death effects trigger twice. Now I draw two cards on death, and you see where this is going. My run's not going very well. I want to win. Uh, in that position, <laughs> the correct and right play with this setup is to... I had two votaries for what it's worth if you're a monster train head. Because uh, Monster Train doesn't have the thing. Monster Train cards can't draw themselves. So you have to... Uh, don't forget you can move your cards around at any time. Thanks. <laughs> What's the trigger for that? Oh, what turn are we on? Uh, 81 turns without moving. That's the trigger. Probably 80 or so. Anyway, uh, story completed. The end, the, the end of the story is... Uh, every time I play Votaberry, she goes back to the top of my draw pile when she dies, and uh, I have two of them, so they go forever because I have picked up my whole deck. I sat there, it was like, back in the day, I also recorded things, because I, re I record now when I wake up, the day of. Back in the day, I used to record before I went to bed, and I used to stream later hours, like up until 4 a.m. So I would be up until 4 or 5 a.m. doing recording. Sometimes I would be very tired, it was not good for me. Uh, but there was less ambient noise back then. Anyway... 
at four in the morning, I sat there and I played Subsuming Blade. I don't know how many times, but I paused the video and I said, I'll be back when this is done. I need, because I the only way I was going to win that run was if my Subsuming Blade did enough damage. So I counted from five to 5,000, three HP at a time in that run. And it took me a little over an hour. And I believe, if I remember correctly, at the end of that infinite, I I start out and I'm like, all right, I'll be back when this is done. And at the end, I'm like, I'm back. Because <laughs> I was so tired. Actually, I remember I uh, I paused my recording because I didn't want the others to have, to, like, I didn't want the viewers to have to watch me go through that. Because it was just me. It was literally just press one, click vote, or press two, click the space. It was one click, two click, one click, two click. At the end of that setup, I was, it was like 5.15 in the morning. And I went, well, and then I just one shot the boss. It's funny because it was like an hour of buildup and then I just instant killed. Uh, my story's over, I'm gonna kill Bumbo now. And so the moral of the story is that we're 21 minutes leaving the second fight and that infinite probably took me like, not infinite, but this, this thing that we just did probably took me like a good, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and that was nothing. That did not matter to me in the slightest. I could do that again four times over before being tired of it. And I don't really care about uh, things be like that being unhealthy, because it's fun to do that every now and then. Hmm. You know what? Gain five on kill. Save for later on that. We'll go... I mean, draw on kill is fine for the mid game. So here's the deal. We are the the biggest glass cannon of all time. Okay. Hear me out. Does this work? Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. I need an apply charm. You'll, you'll, you might know where this is going. I'll let you know if we get there. I need an apply charm. Not it. I need, like, yank charm. I need apply one weaken, apply one poison. Oh, please. Oh, please, please, please. Man. Too bad. Uh, Alright, I'll go Numan Biscuit, and I will go... Probably nothing else here. I, I should not have taken Shell, though, in hindsight. So the deal is, if I get something that says apply on Bling Bank, all I have to do is kill one enemy, and then Bling Bank will chain kill an entire fight for me. But I do need to get something that lets it apply the initial hit. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crown Grubfather and probably Moko Charm Hornet. And we're just going to kind of blitz these guys. I think like this. Gain 6 HP and fragile is fine. I'm gonna put that on the grub father. I might just give him hog headed. And then the yeah, here's the idea. I give him hog headed, and if I'm in a position where I'm gonna die, I just let him die, and then the greed goes away. That seems okay. Uh, let's go Numlin Charm on I think. It can go Pale or or Void Mask. I'm going to go Void Mask so I don't get silenced, because getting my hero silenced here is very bad for me. Okay, 500, so I have a plus 10, which isn't actually... The, the problem that we face here right now is that 11 times 2 doesn't one-shot the enemies, but giving Bamboozle plus 10 is much, much worse for me. Uh, so this is a little bit suspicious, but I will just hit Hornet and clean up. Like, we'll just Shellbow into kill, which is fine. Oh, good. Also, this is the good bamboozle. Snowbow is the biggest enemy here. This guy hits an 11. Oh, never mind. Get silenced. That's good for me. Friends all allies. I think I will do Void Mask into Poison Snowbow. Cleanse my guys. And then... Do I want the Shade Soul to die, or do I want to draw new cards? I don't hate... I, I think it is kind of good to put Zote out instead. So I'm going to put Zote out. 
just getting more units on my side with their turns stacked up is going to be good for me. Because whenever I want, I can kill Bamboozle. I think I don't want to now. I'm going to redraw Bell. It's a very precarious fight. But we can go you here. And then I... Uh, double Snowbow, by the way. The absolute worst case. What a horror. But that's okay. So I'm going to kill Bamboozle because I need to... And then Zote is going to set up Bam or Boozle to die here. Boozle, sure. Boozle's dead. Very good. Okay, so how much is this? How much damage am I actually looking at here? This is 12. You'll be fine. This is also 12. 13. Scary. But there's really only one thing to do here. The only play is to freeze Winter Worm. And if they hit Hornet, I win the game. Do I want to call the Wave Bell here? You know what? I think if I miss a little money in this fight, I'll probably be okay. Yeah, nice. Do I want to run away in horror? Yes. I would like to leave. If that's okay. That is fine with me. You know what? That was exact lethal because the grub father gave $10 there. That's cool. Me. Even. Oh, it's we're there. There you go. When the deck is reshuffled, place me on top. Oh, super cool. That's a... That's a very cool charm idea. Unfortunately, I need to take Snowball Charm. Okay, welcome to the end game. All is grand. Everything I've ever wanted has come to me. I'm going to throw the Tram Pass out, and I'm going to throw the Channel Nail out. I don't think I need Tram Pass in this run, since most of my stuff is triggering on special timings. Give me a Snail... One of these is good. When drawn, gain frenzy. Uh, this is kind of strong. Because I can just swing, like, multiple frenzies into Hornet. And then Hornet goes on a fucking killing spree. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to grab charms. I'm not too worried about spending my money aggressively. Yank charm. I'm, I'm down to spend it. I think it's fine. It's just like we're in the, the scary range here. Gain Void 3 and increase effects by 1. Okay. I'm okay to go all the way. I don't think I pick up Pepper Reaper though, do I? Do I pick up Pepper Reaper here? I don't think so. Okay, let's figure this one out. So it's going to be Crown Bling Bang. And the idea here is very simple. You put a charm that affects Bling Bang on Bling Bang like this, right? Now Bling Bang has an attack stat. When an enemy is killed... Bling Bank will trigger and gain attack from Greed, and then uh, Snowball. And I think I'll give it Bling Charm, even. And I could give it one more. Gain Void 3 and increase effects by 1 is a lot of money. <laughs> um, what else could I put this on, though? Increase effects by 1. Uh, we could do draw two. I could put it on Grubfather, right? And we can get more money, but that's not super good. Increase effects by one. I think it does kind of end up on Bling Bank, but I'm going to save it in case we see something more ridiculous. Oh, and if you're wondering, uh, you can use Yank Charm on this as a viable alternative. Okay, let's run it. I think that what we should see here is something very magical happen. So I'm going to place my Bling Bank here. I'm going to place my Grubfather and my Hornet here. I'm going to play Shelba. He has an Acorn Charm. What a fucking rat. Damn. Uh, okay. 6-6. Six, six. So we can do it this way. And then I hit Hornet. Wait, let me go Newman Biscuit on a channel nail here. 
it's good to take the time. I don't need it. And then we go new one here. You've been hit. Kill. Go again. See the idea? You see it now. I do want to farm this fight for sure. Like, I want to leave this fight with so much money that we never have to think about it again. Probably take the other units out of this as well. Um, I don't need these guys in retrospect. I'm gonna heal you. Yeah, I want to leave this money... I want to leave this one up to like a thousand. Which, as we proved earlier, we can do. Might need these two to die. Just to make my deck a thinner experience. So here's the next part, right? We go Sharpen Nail. Hornet goes, I think, four times off of this. Mm -hmm. Better for Bling Bang to get the kills, but... Uh, Bling Bang doesn't quite get the last kill here, unfortunately. That's okay, though, Bling Bang. I forgive you. I think I will cleanse everyone up after that one. And we will... Bling Bang can't get this kill, so it's all good. I'm gonna go Void Mask. And maybe Pale Ore. Because I'm gonna need this to tank for me. No target to attack. If I get if I get Blink Bank up a little more on the attack set, it's just gonna chain kill whole fights for me. That's the next piece of this. Now, the longer I can wait before having to recall my guys, the better off we are. I need to also not accidentally kill Muttonhead. Oh, and I need to kill that Porcupine. That guy's a little in my way. So I'm gonna sharpen nail him. Give it a sec. I wanna do. I'm gonna do a shell bow here. He's not dead, is he? No, okay. He just took a little bit of damage. That's good news. So I'm gonna pull you. Pull you. Kill this porcupine. Oh, bling bang, no! Alright, it's okay. We don't kill him. Okay, now I don't want to just chain uh, chain Void Masks or chain Freezes right now. I need this Shade Soul dead. I'll just redraw. It's fine. I, I think I'm correct here in my thinking. I think I've thought about this correctly. And that is to say, press redraw bell, press redraw bell, press redraw bell, press redraw bell. It seems fine. I won't go all the way up to a thousand. I'll probably. What, what breakpoint do I want to hit? I want to hit like a 12. How much is 12 from zero? 12 from zero is. 600? I think it's 600. 600 sounds correct to me. Yeah, we don't actually have to do the void mask shuffling because I have a non snow resistant enemy here. So I will go until I'm bored. I think somewhere around 600 is the correct idea, though. A little more so that I have some spending cash, though, is not a bad call. Oh, I do need a Void Mask out, or sometimes I get Grubfather. He gets caught. Hmm. So what I can do to mitigate this is just kind of play things. Like so. Just to, you know past turns and give myself more time. Because eventually Vine Void Mask is going to silence Scrub Father, and that's not good. But, uh, the longer that I go waiting, like, the, the, long, the more time I spend just passing turns, the better off we are. So we can do things like play Drya, uh, recall Drya, uh, play Pale Or. It'd be nice if Muttonhead wasn't so low on HP, you know? He's perma-stuck, though. He can't make a move on me. I could just sit here forever if I wanted to. And make money. He has no escape. So I'm just gonna play Recall a little bit. Yeah. 
there it is. I knew it would happen eventually. But the other idea, or the other point here, is I can just go, like, Void Mass into Pale Ore at this point. Because now I have eight. I didn't want to do it early, because what if I break out of Equilibrium accidentally? But there's no way this breaks out of Equilibrium. My uh, nine freeze is much higher than the two turns it takes for me to apply freeze. Some, it's like, the way that you can think about this, if you want to be technical, here, I'll do a little math lesson for you. I, this isn't even technical, this is just true. I have six cards, so if I want to guarantee freeze, it's every third turn I can freeze. But sometimes with a bad roll, it is every fourth turn. So you can think about it as every third, three and a half turns, basically. You still need to go to four to make it to equilibrium, so eight is enough to be sure I will never completely unfreeze an enemy. I didn't do that math, like, actually. That is the sort of thing that I just kind of intuit at this point, and I don't do, uh, like, a big thought about it and go, hmm, well, how, how does this math work out? I just kind of let it go. Eight feels like about the right number to me. We can be on the safe side because I'm not losing a lot if I get silenced or anything. Uh, I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get the setup here, and then I'm gonna pause the video so that I can do this for as long as I want without feeling bad. Because I don't have another good story to tell you to pass the time. So I'm gonna go to this point. I'll just show you the setup and then I'll pause. How's that sound? The setup here is just gonna be I set them to a certain number and then spam redraw bell while not looking. And it's gonna be this. That's 16 turns, at least. So I'm just going to sit here and spam. I'll be back in, I don't know, however long. When I feel like it. I'm back. I went a little bit above uh, 600, as you can see. I'm going to stop here because I'm sick of it. But I did do, ah, uh, we just crossed 100 turns. There you go. Very cool. I'm going to let Shade Soul kill this guy and we're going to leave. I was running through the math in my head. This should give me about a, th a plus 30 out of greed, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little less, right? Yeah, you're at 22, you go up to 49. It's plus 27. I wanted to get right around there. It's now plus 28, and then it'll go up a little more. 1500 was my stopping point, but I went, ah, 1426, good enough. Charm, charm. Quick. I don't think I need to go to the money here, though. Probably I'm okay. Coiled nail. Mimic is pretty strong in this position, I would say. Uh, and we're going to cut out the other units. And all I need to do in this fight is... Oh, Frozen Heart Charm. That's kind of cool. I can do some stuff with that. I've seen a lot of charms in this run. Squirt Fairy Charm. Eh. Alright, what I need to do in this fight is I need to take away... Well, actually... I need to get the Void Mask out early... Because if I shovel, I'm going to hit into and then ruin my my setup here. So I need to be immune. That's all. And then I'm thinking... First of all, these two guys don't need to be here anymore. I kind of want to Frozen Heart Charm Hornet. Because after two hits, I think everything on the board is going to be dead. But I'm not super confident in that, so I'd like to see a leader bell or something like that before I lock in on that idea. All right. What's the word today? We got Void Mask. I could have taken it off of Bling Bank as well, to be fair. So, well, all we should need to do here is go, like... I mean, all I need to do is this, and then Bling Bank will take care of the rest. Go get him, Bling Bank. Because it triggers itself, so it just kind of blasts off. Like so. And then I will go New Moon Biscuit Shell Bow. And I will go... Ooh, I am going to get my chain stopped by Uba Bear, but that's okay. I'll live. We go Shellbow. My Shade Soul dies if I do that, so I don't want Shellbow there. Shade Soul is never going to tank the the loss of my Bling Bank for me. There, it's just always going to hit into Uber Bear. Just fine. Oh, the Godling. 
Oh, that wasn't even the end of my turn. Oh, right on. Well, I guess I should take the full-on multi-kill then, huh? I suppose there's no reason not to just wipe the board. Because we can go Eastmost tier, and then Bling Bank will just rampage everything down. Because Shade Soul kills one, and then Bling Bank kills the rest. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. That is uh, definitely... I, I think Bling Bank is for sure the craziest thing they could have ever shown me here. Absolutely absurd. And then they make me fight fucking Krunker. God damn it, Krunker. This is gonna be unfun, you loser. Froggy, very cool. Plus four. Mostly like the Froggy because he looks good. Do additional damage equal to turn timer smack back. Oh, that's kind of cool. Buy two shroom, target retain shroom. That's cool too. Sorry guys, but uh, I'm gonna pick Shelly now. I don't think she does anything, she's just gonna get kicked out, but you know. Descending dark, broken vase, broken vase for sure. Crown for sure. I'm gonna buy charms. You know, if I dig deep enough, they'll eventually show me chuckle charm. They kind of just have to. Barrage doesn't do anything too exciting. Oh, I mean, th this is worthless. Greed Charm doesn't do anything. I have Grubfather. Although I could just take Grubfather out of the equation, which would be kind of funny. Drop the Greed Charm and call it a day. I'm not down with that. Oh, you're minus one. Huh. That's true. Okay, no Shelly. Crown goes here. I don't get to chain kill everything, but I can do okay. Is my feeling. But I'd also kind of prefer to get the mimic out right away. Probably. Look at all these charms I have nothing to do with, man. There's nothing here, it feels like. I could do... Uh, you know what we could do? We could do Pomegranate Greed Charm on something. That, a Pomegranate Greed Charm Old Nail sounds kind of cute. Uh, let's do it on Mimic, actually. That also seems good. It's just that I would like to do... I I'm worried about Spike Walls in this one. Spike Walls are the enemy that can put me away. But I think it's okay. This should be good enough. Hang on, I don't need the Greed Charm, sorry. My fault. Forgot what I was doing for a second. Lost where I was. My B. Uh, so it's just Pomegranate Charm on Mimic. And I am not opposed. The problem with the Greed Charm is I'm going to kill myself with it. Oh, I thought that the sound effect was bugged. It really is just taking that long to count it up. If I Greed Charm one of these things, I'm going to like Greed Charm Channel Nail and then accidentally kill my Hornet with it. We're not going to do that. Alright, let's run it, Krunker. He's very scary. You gotta give it to him. Definitely the most horrific thing they could have shown me. No real two ways about it. The only thing in this game that I cannot just hard beat is Krunker. But I still put up a pretty good effort. Because I think we can just go, like, sharpen Nail Hornet here. And that'll be four hits per nail. I think he's dead anyway. I thought the sharpen Nail pickup was going to be kind of a waste, but it turns out to be pretty good. A shame that doesn't count as killing for the purposes of this, but you know what? It's alright, I suppose, video game. I just gotta go, like here into here, and you're dead. Goodbye, Krunker. You know, I could have gotten a little more money out of this fight, I bet, but Krunker is definitely the biggest threat to my run. For sure, highest likelihood that I just kind of drop dead. Gain frontline, when hit, gain one. Uh, I'm down here to go Frozen Heart Charm Hornet into plus HP. The plus HP is worthless, though. Yeah, it is absolutely worthless to go plus HP. Give me plus one draw and new one. 
There is no purpose to that. Old nail, pale ore. Good hits. You're gonna die if you get hit anyway. I should just give you the block. Shelly, how did you get in here? How did you get in here? Do I have this guy in my journal, by the way? Let me go look. I do. This file is, like, very strangely reset. I need to... I'll take a look at it. Hmm. Alright, sorry, just thinking about my thumbnail. Give me a sec, I'm gonna pause and go make it. Okay, I actually didn't end up taking my screenshots because I want to get the boom bank in the fight for the screenshot. Also, also, sorry, I didn't have time to think about it until now. You're giving me another fucking bullshit-ass fight? This sucks, man. I'm supposed to do some cool, like, chain-through-everything fight. Stop giving me idiots with block. Oh, and smack back? Oh my god. Uh, okay, it's not so bad. It's just really annoying. Bling Bank just has to go up here. And then we go, like, Grubfather. Void Mask, I suppose. I could probably get this out of my opening rotation now, even. But now, Bling Bank will just kill you and then freeze you. Good thing it's the freeze charm, huh? Uh, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's okay. I would also like to play a... Can I Lumen Vase this? Oh my god, yuck. What the hell? That can't be right. Uh, okay, so I want Grubfather up here, Bling Bank here. I would like to... Call the Wave Bell. I actually don't even need to do anything with my hero. I was gonna have Hornet attack, but I don't even need to do that. I can just go, like, Free Pale Ore... And I'm gonna do it. I think it's actually more money right now to go here, isn't it? This is plus... Let's just run it. Bling Bang doesn't get many of the kills, actually, so I don't know if that was really worth it. Just counting. Hold on. Thinking about it. I'm gonna go press wave bell. And then. You won't die for this. I don't know who goes first. Mimic goes first, okay. Yeah. Oh, I still go. I'm still going. Okay, that kills. Cool. Just kind of just looking respectfully there. The plus HP wouldn't be bad to give me a little peace of mind. I forgot to take a picture of the bling bank. Ah, hell. Oh well. I'll get around to it. I'll do it in this fight. I'll remember. It's just you know it's very fun to send it, and it's hard to remember that I have to do things. Ooh, scrap charms, nice. I like that. Good for Mr. Mimic. Ah, you think Molten Dip's worth it here? It's kind of close. Flap Crackers? Now that's, that's a little silly. I don't think I'm down. I'm gonna consume plus two. That one's decent. I've spent too much money in this run. I just can't stop myself. Lumen Ring. Again, I just don't have anything to really get value out of a plus one on. Frenzy Charm. Times two and consume. Mmm... -hmm. How about here? Uh, here. Oh, I was informed. So I think if I understand this correctly, the first wave is going to be Grizzle, Grink, Mega Mimic. Second wave is going to be Spike Wall, Ice Forge. Third wave is going to be Plum, Bigfoot. It might be uh, these these three these two these two i'm not sure but it is if i'm as i've been told or not told as i found out from doing the collab with brawn dips uh these this is actually like information this isn't just them not showing me a guy so that's cool 
Lumen Ring. Yeah, I really don't have anything for it. That's okay. We could just juice our shell bow or something. Why not? I guess because Void 3 is bad, but there is no way anything survives this. I could actually Greed Charm Shellbow and then just kill everything, but I don't want to do that. I want to do this the other way. I want to do this the, uh, the Grub Father way. Okay. Uh, I'm bored. Let's go. I don't want to think about charms anymore. Okay, so it is Ice Forge, Grink, Grizzle. So it's like front to back. So I think the next wave is going to be something like, what was it? It was like Bigfoot, Spikeball is next, I believe. You don't need to be here anymore, Void Mask. It's my error. Okay, so I just want this picture. It's a little bit ruined by... Ice Forge, but that's okay. Maybe I'll retake it in the next fight. And then I'll grab Grubfather on the other file that I have now. So we want to play Hornet here, Mimic here. Uh, I don't know what happens. Let's just find out. I think I kill everything. I, there's only one thing that stops me. There's only one thing on this planet that stops me from instantly winning the game here. There he is. And he's he's in the wrong spot. Uber Bear on the bottom is the only thing, only thing that could stop me from just chain killing the whole board here. Yeah. Goodbye, Frost Guardian. It was a close fight. They don't even make it out of the crown phase anymore. Oh, and I drew my whole deck. That's cool. Unfortunately, I'm a little under my original money target of 1500 but I think it's okay. I guess I'll live. Here, I want to do... this? I don't know why. There's no chance that these guys survive. Let's run it. All I have to do is not fuck up my positioning here. I have to pay attention long enough to put my units in the correct places. So it's Grubfather, Hornet, Bling Bank, Mimic. Oh yeah, Crusher also fucks up my screenshot, so it doesn't matter. And then we just go Shelbo and everything dies. 29, 29, hit again, 29, 29, and this is the end. Oh no, it's not because I'm one I'm one off of that being a full clear. How sad. Now it's the end. Nice try, guys. Good hustle out there. You almost had him. No, my bling bank. What the hell? Well that was fun. I had a good time doing that. Uh, I will probably never click Grubfather again. That unit is... <laughs> yeah, that is... That guy is very cool. And also a little bit degenerate. Just a little bit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.